people have dabbled too much during the summer period. They're on a cardio binge, which is pretty rough and makes them just feel drained the whole time, especially because it is still quite hot. Where people get a lot wrong is that they don't mix in enough strength training to impact weight loss. Who wants to take this one on, Mr. Notes over there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so impacts of kind of strength training on weight loss or rephrase that as metabolism, basically. So yeah. the greater muscle mass you kind of hold, the greater your basal metabolic rate will be. Um, the main kind of driving force for that is your increase in uh, calories burned through NEAT, so non-exercise activity thermogenesis. So basically how your body maintains its state of homeostasis, so um, keeps it as a functioning system. The more muscle mass we have, the more energy that's actually going to take on our system to maintain the muscle mass, as well as um, recover from our muscle mass. So as well as other contributing factors, heat regulation, blah, blah, blah. We could all go into it. But mm. basically what we're saying here is the more muscle mass we have on our system, the greater the basal metabolic rate will be. Um, so when we're looking at weight loss journeys, or all these kind of things, people want to lose weight when actually perhaps a healthier approach would be gain muscle mass to then lose some, some uh, excess fat. Would... So it's the long game, right? Um, that is a long game to take. It's not easy to, to gain muscle mass, but it, yeah. it's definitely possible. That's what I was going to say. We could, we could get into muscle mass gain strategies and maybe we shouldn't. But I think one of, the, one of the key things to what you said there, mate, is more actually stimulating the muscle you've got. It's not always about gaining more muscle to increase that basal metabolic rate, which guys is all about your calories and if you're on calories in calories out uh, you need to call us <laughs> <laughs> but it's more making that muscle that you not losing it which is what we see a lot when people go down a, a, a cardio a more cardio based or just flogging themselves they actually burn off the muscle which is actually pump punching up that metabolic rate so rather than for and that's it is super hard. The reason why I, I won't go deep into gaining muscle is because it's insanely hard and it's insanely slow. And most people don't really need any more muscle than what they have. They just need to get rid of the fat so they can see the muscle they have and make the muscle they have stronger, hence do some, some strength training. But the impact of being strong and doing strength training on weight loss due to what Toby said is absolutely key. And it's, one, it's probably one of the reasons why we see an increasing number of people that train quite hard and look an absolute mess still. Yeah. True, uh, I think it's true. I mean, I feel like I have a couple of case studies for this through the, the summer where guys have gone away and they're away from our gym. They've literally just had strength training to do. Yeah, right. And they've come back, they've lost body fat. Um, they aren't eating as much. And... Part of that is, I think uh, Toby was kind of going down that route, is that especially when you do strength training versus the the cardio, the after effect of that strength training is you're kind of burning calories for a longer period. Um, and I've certainly found that, you know, when, when I finish like a, a leg day and we've gone super heavy, yeah, Toby knows about this as well. My guys on a Friday know about this, is that it gets to, they've had their breakfast, it gets to midday and they're, ravenous we've basically just smashed the biggest one of the biggest mus muscles in their body mm. um but like coming back to the point about the guys being away they've literally just stripped back their cardio and done strength training and while their muscle mass has changed ever so slightly the point you're making there is their body fat has dropped so mm. suddenly the changes look insane yeah because their metrics have gone the opposite direction yeah and then what they get slightly confused about is They've had to do, essentially, they feel like they've done less work, mm. but they haven't. And that also segues into sort of <laughs> measures, right? Because people in that area are measuring, if I don't sweat a lot, if I don't have my heart rate, if you lift enough weight, your heart rate will go pretty high anyway, <laughs> <laughs> right or wrong. Like yeah. how high is your heart rate when you're snatching 130 kilos? Like yeah. it's pretty high, you know, you need, you need everything. But people, the, the perception of what a hard workout is, is not quite what it really is. 